up creatives, welcome to the Tiffy Show. Today I will be giving you the signs that a casual relationship is turning serious. So if you haven't, make sure that you turn on notifications so that you know when I post a video. I like to post about dating, travel, lifestyle, and everything in between. So if that is your jam, hit that subscribe button and let's get to it. When you first start dating someone, you really don't know where it's headed. And if you're anything like me, you don't put that many expectations on it because you've been here before, I've been here before, where you tell your friends like, hey girl, I just met the, just kidding, he's not the one anymore, so click. So you don't know where it's going. Um, a lot of the times it can feel like an interview process where you're just going through the motions and the first few dates always feel kind of surface level. You get tired of getting excited about someone and it just fizzling out so fast that you didn't even have time to wrap your head around it you know, they ghost you or they just disappear, whatever. I have videos on that, you can go check them out. But what I'm going to talk about is those times where you start to date a little bit more regularly. You're seeing this person a lot more and you're tiptoeing around the situation of, is this becoming serious? Is this becoming something? Or is it just, you know, dating and we're just wasting each other's time? When you start to see someone more regularly, you might begin to catch feelings. So you want to know, is this heading into relationship category? Now, I know some of you also want to know if a casual situation is turning serious because you do not want that. You do not want the other person to catch feelings. You like it the way it is and you just want to know the signs that they're feeling some type of way. I am assuming if you click this video though, that you want the casual situation to become a serious relationship. I am going to skew that way and give you the signs plus examples that a casual relationship is getting serious. Okay. You know, you're making moves. You might have a boyfriend or girlfriend soon. I am here to help you out. But let's not forget before I start and give you all of these beautiful, delicious tips that all of this could be, you know, resolved in a conversation and a communication of just asking them. But you know, we don't do that here. These are the signs that a casual relationship is becoming serious. They like to talk to you and they're getting a little deep. They're getting deep with you. You go from talking once in a while for a hookup or just like a random date to talking more deeply. They're opening up to you. They're telling you about childhood trauma. They're telling you about hopes and dreams. And it's not always about a booty car, what you're wearing. That is a good sign. That means that they're opening up to you and they might be seeing you as more than just a casual date. Usually when a person doesn't wanna get serious, they do not open up. It is all surface level. You don't know much about them. When you try to get deep with them, they change the subject. They don't wanna tell you about their future goals. They might not have any, but they don't even wanna tell you that. They don't tell you about their family life or any deep relationships that they've had, any hopes and dreams, anything that they're scared of. They always change the subject. They might meet you at a party and they hang out with you at the party and they talk about how fun the party was and then you guys hook up and then they go home and everything is surface level. You watch a movie, you just talk about the movie, they go home. So when it gets deep, when you are hanging out with a person and they're letting you know secrets and they're opening up and they're getting emotional and you might not even hook up, that is a huge sign. If you do not hook up and they're still talking and communicating and they're having a good time with you, that's a great sign that this is becoming a more serious situation. You meet their family and friends. Everyone knows that's a big deal you're meeting people. You're meeting people that are close to them. And the thing about this is when something is casual, you're usually kept separate from family and friends and that's just because everyone knows that it's perceived as a very big step when you meet family and friends, even if that person might not think it's a big deal and that it is just your family and friends will also view this person as someone more important to you than just a casual fling. If you are out with them and they see family or friends and they introduce you with confidence and pride, that is a good sign as well because I feel like a lot of people have had the situation which is a very casual situation where they are out and that person sees someone they know and they, they talk to the person they know and they never introduce you. They never introduce you to that person just like on a name, first name basis and then you walk away like, who was that? And they're like, oh, that's just my coworker, Jim. But it's like, I was standing next to you and you didn't. I was standing right there. So that's a red flag. I just wanna give that to you, that it's not a serious relationship if they do that to you. This is a good grounding point. If their friends and family know who you are and say, I've heard great things about you, you are XYZ or you work at XYZ or you're from XYZ, like they know a fact about you, that's a great sign. That means that he's been talking about you positively enough where his friends and family know who you are and they're putting a face to a personality that he has described. That's a great sign 
in terms of maybe this is becoming a more serious situation. I will say between friends and family, family is a bigger step if they introduce you to family because family comes with the annoying part of family which they're gonna hound you and ask you so many questions. So if they go through the hassle of introducing you to family members, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, that's a good sign because that means that they're dealing with questions from mom, dad, brothers, sisters after you meet them if, if she, are you serious about her is blah, blah, blah. So it's a pretty good sign if they're gonna go through that hassle and let you meet them. So remember, if you're like, Tiffy, I don't even go outside with them. They don't take me nowhere. They don't, then you need to go watch my other video, which is called Problems with Friends with Benefits, because that is a situation that you might be in if they're not even letting you leave the house with them. They text you every day. And if you're like, who texts someone every day? This is probably not going to become serious for you. Uh, my boyfriend, when I first started dating him, texted me every day. He texted me every day before we even had a date. And I was like, whoa, this is, this is like a lot of, he's texting me every day, this is pretty cool. And he still texts me every day because we are in a serious relationship now. So it is a great sign if a person texts you every day because it means that they're thinking about you, that they wanna talk to you, that they enjoy conversation with you. Now when I say text every day, I mean a conversation. I mean that you guys are texting and having fun and having banter and talking about your day. I'm not saying he texts you every five minutes, show you show you show you show you I'm not saying that. That is a different situation. I'm talking about opening up and being like, hey, I just saw this really cool movie. Have you seen it? Blah, blah, blah. So that's a really good sign if they are texting you every day, wanting to talk to you and it not even leading to a hookup or a sex situation or asking for a nude. Again, I don't wanna get no comments like, he texts me every day, but it's to ask her to see my feet. Like that's not the same thing here, guys. So I wanted to let you know the difference. And brownie points, I'm giving you guys so many brownie points to look out for. If they are asking questions and they remember things that you've told them when they're text messaging you, like, oh yeah, I remember that you like this, and they send you a picture, or they ask you how work was because you had a fight with a coworker, that means that they are paying attention to details of your life and that they're interested because we've all been with the guy or girl that don't remember something that you've told them multiple times because they don't care. They just care about hooking up, hanging out, having fun, but they don't really care about the deep inner workings of your life. This one is important, guys. They talk about the future and you're included in it. Like they talking about the future when they start talking and they start using the we word and they start talking about things that aren't here within the next week or two. They're talking about events that are months away or even a year away. It's a great sign. That means that they think that you possibly will be in their life during this time and they might be feeling you out because they want to ask if you're exclusive. Everyone wants to win, no one wants to lose. No one wants to feel vulnerable, no one wants to be turned down. So a lot of the times you have to look at the signs that someone else is giving to see if they want it to become serious. That is a huge deal if they're inviting you to a wedding or any big event like that, that is months away. Because that is showing A, that they want you to be around possibly then, that's a big commitment. You would meet family and friends for sure at a wedding. And also they are eliminating their chances of getting any lonely wedding because there are single people at weddings that are ready to hook up. And they have decided to take ass. So that is something to look out for. When people start using we and making future plans, it is sometimes a sign that they want to talk about if you're exclusive, if you're ready to take the next step. This is a perfect time if you are not ready to take that step to let them know that it's not that serious, that you're not in the place for a relationship and let them down gently. If you are ready to take things serious, this is where you show enthusiasm, this is where you make those you know, future plans with them and you can bring up the conversation. <laughs> Are we exclusive? Is this moving where I want it to move? And you guys can talk about it because they've kind of opened the door for that conversation if they're inviting you to like their family trip in the Hamptons or something, okay? You've had an argument and you are still talking and you are still dating. Surface level relationships, like casual stuff, they don't really have arguments and fight through it and make it work. When you are in a serious relationship, you do not get along all the time. You don't get along all the time. You might have an argument over some little petty crap, but you do and then you get over it and you're still in a relationship and you both know when you do this that you're still gonna be in a relationship. Casual relationships, you can have a little bit, little itty bitty fight and the other person ghosts you and it's just not, it doesn't survive. 
If you can get through arguments and you are still dating and you're still happy to be with that person, that person's still texting you, you are communicating, you are getting over the argument, you are compromising, that is a good sign that this might be heading into a serious direction because they are willing to work it out with you. When it's casual, they don't care. They don't care about working it out with you because they don't see you as more than just a fling, a summer fling, a casual date, blah, blah, blah. So pay attention to when you have arguments. Don't be afraid to have an argument or disagreement too, I will say. Um, that's not that's not saving anything by pretending that you're this girl that like never has arguments or this guy that like is, I'm always cool. Like don't do that. If something bothers you, let them know because this will be the test for you if you don't want to communicate that this is not a serious relationship. Know yourself. Know yourself. If you are a person that is addicted to chaos and you like to fight and that is what you do, you fight, you argue, you always get guys that like to fight with you. You be fighting in the parking lot, fighting in the car, like whatever. This doesn't count for you. You attract those relationships. <laughs> that is what you do. And that guy is what you're attracting and he's used to these things. So that could still be casual. But I'm talking about if you are a person that is not chaotic, that is not addicted to chaos. And I'm not saying it is a bad thing. If you're addicted to chaos, do you boo. But I'm saying if you are a normal person that just likes to meet people and date normally, then an argument shouldn't make or break it if it's serious. Those are my signs of a casual relationship is becoming serious and I gave you so many goodies, guys. Like, give me the likes and comments below because this was good. Let me give a disclaimer. This is a disclaimer that someone can do all of the things that I mentioned on this list and still not be ready for a relationship. They could open up to you. They could, you know, have you meet their family and friends. They can text you every single day. It doesn't matter if they are not ready. I'm just giving you signs that can kind of help you make the decision and make a conversation easier so that you can have that communication and see where you guys stand. But I want you to know that ultimately I can't read minds. I can just give you the best tools to kind of know where something is, but I don't, I don't want to get any comments like he didn't want a relationship after I looked. No, not everyone is the same. This is generally just good things to look out for. If you do want that casual relationship to become a serious relationship. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you share it, like, subscribe, and comment. Comment below, let me know any signs that I missed or if a casual relationship turned into a real one for you, and I will see you next time. Stay creative.